Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine, reporting to you here today with Franz Niederholzer from the UC Cooperative Extension. We're up here in Northern California, and uh, you know, with harvest approaching, wanted to talk about uh, one of the key things that may be forgotten otherwise, because harvest is a busy time of the year, and that's boron tissue sampling. Uh, could you tell us, uh, you know, why and how? Boron doesn't accumulate in the leaves, as with other nutrients, it tends to accumulate in the hulls. The hulls are the best way to know if you've got boron excess, which can be a real problem, or deficiency, which can also be a real problem. Boron deficient orchards, usually on the east side of the valley, adding boron where needed can return growers you know, hundreds of pounds, extra pounds of nuts per year. And if, you're, if you have a boron toxicity problem, on the other hand, knowing that's going on and trying to and, you know, managing it, working to manage it, uh, or being, certainly being aware of it, is really important as well. So uh, as far as the, the sampling goes, how, how do you go about that? You want you know, dried hulls at harvest just before pickup. If you can take oh, about a pint of hulls from the uh, windrows and send those to a lab, that's the only nutrient you need to have analyzed from the hulls that we know so far, but certainly um, send it into a lab, about a pint of, of dried hulls. And usually it's non pareil but you could also check some the other varieties as they come due. And uh, it's really important to have a, a good sense of, of boron uh, for the reasons listed, because it is toxic, and when it's deficient, it can cost you money. Right, and it doesn't matter as far as the temperature, if it gets too hot out there, does, does that impact your sample when you, once you've pulled it? No. If you've kept it on your dashboard for a while, I don't know. No, no, you, you, want, you, want, dry, you want dry holes anyhow, okay. so it doesn't really matter. Um, but get them and, and get them in. As, as you pointed out, Matthew, it's, there's a lot going on at Harvard. It's a busy time, but again, if you're deficient in, in boron, you know, you could... And putting some boron on in the fall, a fall boron spray can, and in studies we've done, universities done, uh, John Enstrom did it at Nichols years ago, you can look at, you know, from 150 to two or 300 pounds more in production um, with adding boron than not. That's not everybody, but it's documented out there, and uh, it's a pretty straightforward test and a simple fix uh, with the, the fall boron uh, sprays to, uh, to fix that problem and, and return that income to you. Great. Thank you, Franz. Uh, read more about best orchard man management practices in Pacific Nut Producer magazine and enjoy harvest. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.